Evening, everyone, and welcome to RFL. I'm Richard French. Now, before we get into those issues and more, I want to discuss a subject about which I've received a lot of questions, that, frankly, the future of Fios One News. Now, we have learned that the news channels will cease to exist come November 15th. For the past 10 years, Fios One has provided hyperlocal news in three regions, New Jersey, the Hudson Valley, and Long Island. Our contract has, however, not been renewed. This program, it will continue on RNN and its affiliates in Boston, Philadelphia, and D.C., but the ending of Fios One is personal for me. Around 150 good people, both behind and in front of the cameras, will be displaced. It includes anchors, reporters, producers, videographers, and so many other faces you will never see. And on a broader level, the change, it implicates the importance of multiple voices in the world of local news. We've seen this play out in print where newspapers from coast to coast are simply closing their doors or scaling back and lay off scores of workers. A similar thing, it is happening in local TV news. Closing bureaus or shrinking them so their scope of coverage is greatly limited. The people at Fios One, they're not just numbers in the channel, not just a number on the dial. They're real people who are at the end of the day providing a vital service to the communities that they serve. Now, many have reached out to me to express their feelings on the subject, and also many of the leaders on both the state and the local levels have contacted. As an example, New York Governor Andrew Cuomo. He tweeted, quote, Disturbed by Verizon's plans to shut down Fios One News, a great source of local news and a blow to the already struggling local news landscape. I encourage all New Yorkers to support local journalism. It's more important now than ever. We also heard from the governor from New Jersey, Phil Murphy, who said, quote, the impending shutdown of Fios One News, New Jersey, means less coverage of our communities and the people whose decisions impact them. And here's New York Attorney General Letitia James. Her response saying, quote, local and hyper-local media outlets, they're essential to our communities. They provide news, hold the powerful accountable, and ensure transparency. We must be doing more to support these outlets before it is too late. Congressman Thomas Swazi, he represents a chunk of Long Island. He posted this, quote, This news is troubling for our community. Honest local news reporting is essential to our democracy. Hashtag Fios One News. Hashtag Local Journalism Matters. And Nassau County Executive Laura Curran, she tweeted this, A real democracy requires vibrant local journalism. This is devastating to learn about. I encourage all to support local journalism wherever possible. It makes a big difference. And Dutchess County Exec Mark Molinaro is also upset. Local journalism is a vital resource for the community. An informed public is imperative in our democracy. And Verizon's Fios' decision is another devastating blow in a time when local news outlets have seen dramatic cutbacks. For more than 10 years, Verizon has partnered with RNN to deliver local news. I clearly echo those sentiments. But Fios One News is not going away just yet. We will be with you through November 15th, and RFL, as I mentioned, it will live on beyond that. We'll continue to update you on any developments.